Does it seem like health experts can't make up their minds about various health topics? One controversial topic is sun exposure and vitamin D. How's the best way to get the vitamin D we need to maintain healthy bones? Dr. Mark Sorelli is here to help clear up some of that confusion. So why is a proper vitamin D level important? Vitamin D is important in maintaining healthy bones, muscle, strength, and balance. A deficiency in vitamin D can lead to rickets in children and thin bones in adults, leading to falls and fractures. Too much vitamin D can be toxic. Vitamin D can be acquired through foods, dietary supplements, or from sun exposure. All of the current studies demonstrating the beneficial effects of vitamin D supplementation on bone health require calcium supplementation or a diet high in calcium. Sun exposure alone only provides vitamin D, not calcium. Thus, dietary vitamin supplementation is superior to sunshine. An argument by the tanning salon industry is that sun exposure provides improved health of the body to make necessary levels of vitamin D. Even some people in the healthcare industry are discouraging the use of regular sunscreen application, especially in the aging population, to reduce the likelihood of developing vitamin D deficiency or osteoporosis. I'd like to put an end to the, all of this nonsense. One in three fair-skinned or Caucasian skin people will develop skin cancer in their lifetime. Regular sunscreen use has been scientifically shown to reduce one's likelihood of the two most common forms of skin cancer and reduce photoaging, which contributes to our aging appearance. Recognize that the skin rejuvenation industry is a $35 billion a year industry and there's no evidence that customary sunscreen use causes vitamin D deficiency or insufficiency in otherwise healthy individuals. Most fair-skinned individuals can maximize their natural vitamin D synthesis from sunlight exposure within five minutes without sunscreen use or within 20 minutes using a sunscreen. Additional exposures beyond this will simply lead to damage without any other beneficial effects. Here are a few helpful tips to remember in maintaining adequate blood levels of vitamin D. One, two eight ounce glasses of fortified milk or orange juice a day. Two, unprotected incidental exposure to the sun on the face and backs of the hands three times weekly for about 15 minutes. Or three, the best method, a daily vitamin D supplement containing at least 1,000 to 2,000 international units and calcium. Well, vitamin D is one of those things that I think may be very important for people, and I'm not sure that I didn't learn something from that about the sun. And here with me is Dr. Mark Sorelli. Mark, tell us about vitamin D and what we know today. Well, as you know, Kevin, vitamin D is important. It leads to healthy bones. There's also some new evidence that suggests that adequate levels of vitamin D are important for the immune system. Some people are under the false belief that they have to go outside and get sunlight to get adequate levels of vitamin D, when in fact one can simply get it from a multivitamin, at least one that has 1,000 to 2,000 units of vitamin D3 in it, and importantly, calcium as well, because even the, even the vitamin D that's made in the skin doesn't necessarily get utilized properly if adequate amounts of calcium aren't taken with it. Should people get their vitamin D levels measured? It, it always depends. So typically for a young, healthy person that has an adequate diet and is drinking milk or fortified orange juice and taking a multivitamin, probably the answer is no. But I think that as we all start to move through time, we all start to age, generally 45, 50 years of age and older, it's certainly part of a wellness check to have your vitamin D level measured to be sure that you're adequately supplemented if you're deficient. If a little bit is good, is a lot better, or is it toxic if you take too much potentially? Well, vitamin D is one of those vitamins that can build up levels and sometimes can be toxic, and too much vitamin D can sometimes even lead to kidney stones mm -hmm. under the right circumstances. Okay. Good information. Thank you very much, Dr. Sorrell. You're welcome. If you'd like to learn more and get more information, visit www.dermatologistoncall.com. Or while you wait, pick up one of the tablets in the office and touch the Dermatologist on Call button, and you can learn more right now. You are watching Smarter Lifestyle Network.